everyone. This is Joanna. Um, today I'd like to share some items with you. Um, but first I want to say I took down the video where I did the demonstration of the gals fairy nail plates because someone pointed out to me that after about three minutes and 11 seconds the sound cut out. I went back through trying to listen to it, but of course there was tons of buffering on my computer and my phone, so I couldn't. So I just took it down to do it again at a later date. But I would like to um, share with you a lot of the items that I have recently purchased. I have some Urban Decay, some Shani, some Benefit, some um, Amazing Grace. So I'll start off with what I got from Bath & Body Works. I originally went into Bath & Body Works to look for this Cashmere Glow Sugar Scrub. And they had buy three, get three free, which I was after just this until I got in there and saw that they had the new um, bowl bath, the vanilla sugar bowl bath, and the new packaging that they had for Christmas. So I got this um, Cashmere Glow Sugar Scrub. And then I picked up the vanilla sugar bowl bath. This has like, been like a staple of mine over the years. For a while there, I thought that this was the best bubble bath that they had. Um, it's like it treats the water also. It doesn't soften it as much as their um, aromatherapy line, but it does, and I've always loved it, and I buy it every year without fail. And because I got that, I got this vanilla sugar. Sometimes their formulas are better. I know one year when they made the vanilla sugar with the jojoba and grapeseed oil, it was way more moisturizing than the previous vanilla. And I actually hid that bottle from myself, and I'm still looking for it. Um, most of their stuff has about a five-year shelf life. And unless it's falling apart and coming apart and looking funny, I just keep it and use it. So because I got those three things, I got three things free. And with Bath and Body Works, the little trick that they use, if you get three things, and they tell you you get three things free, and say you get another body butter because you had a body butter, and maybe you match items, you get a body butter, you get a body cream, and you get a shower gel, what they're going to do is charge you for the three highest items, and the other items will be cheaper. So I was smart. Every item that I got was $11. So when they rung up that scrub at 16 and the lotion, um, at 11 in the bubble bath at 12, everything that followed $11 is what I got free. So I got lotions for my little boy. He likes this Twilight Woods. And, well, I think he really likes the Noir. I think he said the Twilight Woods was okay, but this one is his favorite. I like the smell of this one. And then I picked up Cherry Blossom for my daughter. She likes Japanese Cherry Blossom, but I also wanted to get her Cherry Blossom. I actually do not like Cherry Blossom at all. Nail polish wise, um, I got the other two colors in the Euro collection from OPI. I got the A Woman's Prerogative and the Polka.com. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I'll probably just put it on one nail. This glitter is different from their other glitters where it's just a smattering over the finger, but it's still difficult to remove. Um, the next polish that I got from what I got from Sephora was this Metro Chic, Chic, and I know this isn't brand new, but for a long time I wanted You Don't Know Jack by um, OPI, and I had been hearing good things about this for the longest time, so I got it while it was still out, because one that I was looking for they didn't have anymore. Let's see, now the rest of what I got from Sephora... I'm not going to be swatching any of this stuff here because I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it yet. And I kind of got these items to have them. So when I start to use them, I will do that. But I got this blush in Blushing Bride. They had a tan one that I wanted and a pinkish one that I wanted. So I hope you can see that really good. I really do like that. And I haven't um, played in any of this stuff or put any of it on yet. And I don't have any intentions for using it just yet. That's one of the reasons why um, I'm not going to do anything with it. Now, I've been hearing a lot about this Benefit Mascara. So I got one of these. Um, and I noticed that they have the little mini ones for like $10. And I think those would be good when I have the Mother's Day gift bags that I put together. And they use this on me at Ulta when they um, applied the lashes. And I notice a lot of the mascaras are coming out with this kind of wand. My um, Lashgasm by Too Faced has that. And I like it. I had a sample 
of the Urban Decay Big Fatty Mascara, and I thought I hated it because it came out um, of the tube like, um, not like regular mascara, but like too much. But now that I'm using it, I like it, and I want a tube of it. Wish I would have known that and discovered that before I bought that one. I probably would have bought them both. I got this little sample thing right here. I don't know what you do with it. Super serum something. But I'm sure it'll be good. I use sample moisturizers all the time. Then I got, I wasn't intending on getting this. I was actually intending on getting the Too Faced Natural Eye and the blush. And then I called about a 500 point perk they had a while ago, which was available. So I went ahead and got this once I was in the store and I saw it. Um, I've been hearing mixed reviews about this. Some people said that it's getting a lot of hype and it's not that great. Others say that they really, really love it. So I just got it because chances are I would have gotten it anyway. And this is the Naked Flush. I do like the blush and I do like that bronzer. Plus my daughter likes bronzer. So usually any makeup that I find I don't have a use for later, she loves. And that's what's weird about us. Usually anything that I don't like, she actually loves. Because I can't stand cherry blossom, Japanese cherry blossom. She loves it. I didn't like some um, rice cakes one time that were white cheese and she loved those. I like the sweet ones. So I also got this Too Faced Natural Eye. I've been looking at an Emily Noel video and I already have the Natural at Night um, and the Summer palette in this as well as some of the other palettes. But I really, really loved this gold color here and these browns. So hopefully I'm holding this so you guys can see that. And I'm going to turn it around. They're very pretty. I was in the store. That's what made me decide to go ahead and get this as I was in the store. And a lot of times when I'm undecided about something, I go in there and play with it. But all that did was made me come out of there with another list because Kat Von D, um, I was looking at her center palette but have never picked it up. She has some new eyeshadow trios out. They're kind of like... Um, her big ones that she had, that big kit that had the browns and the greens in it over Christmas. These are like that, but there's a few more colors integrated. There's like a blue and a couple of browns, and there's a dark, um, medium, and light shade. They're very pretty. I'm thinking about getting a couple of those, and I think her makeup is nicely priced. I think her blushes were like $24. And she had um, Shady Business, I think is the bronzer. I really, really like that, and I'd like to go back and get that. Um, and this right here was what I saw last month, but she had to have 500 points, and at that point I had like 469. And so when I knew that I was going out there yesterday, I decided to call and ask if they had any of these available. They had a couple, so I got this one. This was free with 500 points. You get a little perfume. This is a shower gel hair wash. I usually just use these as shower gels. I think it says you can use it as a bubble bath too, and the lotion. So I discovered I think I like that scent. I wasn't sure about it at first. What I got in the mail today is I ordered this bourbon pencil after watching a Queen of Beauty, I'm sorry, Queen of Blending video where she was using the Theodora palette from Oz and she used, now we'll swatch this, she used this bourbon pencil. And I think this one I have next to it is the Rockstar and this was when I first put bourbon on back here. So she did a cut crease with this bourbon pencil and the Theodora palette. So I do want to try that, I think. Um, also, I got this little deluxe sample of their skin balm. And I'm getting mixed reviews on this, too. Some women of color have said they have ashiness. Other women of color have said that they really, really like it. But it's their beauty balm. And, of course, I got this. I was only going to get one at first. When I went into the store to get the Glenda palette, I loved the purple that they had in this palette. And this pencil here, this Glenda pencil, I think that this pencil goes better with the Theodora palette. I know maybe I'm not understanding something or I'm missing something, but I like it a lot better than the red one. The red one's pretty, but I just thought that one being as neutral as it is would look nice. Now this one, I don't seem to have the issue as I did with my other one about the shadows not staying locked down. And of course, most of you guys already have this. Um, I love the colors on here. Let's see here. I know this pink one is called Magic. And this one in the middle is called Aura. And then of course the purple is Tornado. 
And then we have illusion, I think, over here. And then this one is called South. And then this one in the middle is called Oz. So I ended up loving the purple and the pink, this whole top line plus this one right here. So that's why I went ahead and got it. And I've noticed from watching YouTube videos that a lot of ladies are indeed purchasing both palettes for different reasons. I like both of them as far as design. And as I said before, when I did my birthday haul, I really loved the design of that case and hated when they took them away. Now, the next thing I got, I got these from Bundle Monster. This was $2.99, and hopefully you can see that I haven't taken the paper off of it yet. I um, ordered this because I heard someone on here talk about they placed a Bundle Monster order, and they got this little Christmas plate free. So these were still available for $2.99, no shipping or anything. I kept trying to use my PayPal, but it wouldn't take, so I put in my credit card number. So there was no extra charge or anything for that, and it's got the little Santa. Apparently, this was their little holiday plate that they were giving out with any orders. And then they sent me this old four. Now, this one had a funny story behind it. I wrote to them to tell them that their first set of plates weren't all that great. You know, I just bought these this past year. And I said I noticed that their last set of plates were even better. And they had asked what issue I was having. Well, I got the first set of plates for some other plates and for this flower right here. Because someone online had this in gold with dark nail polish, but it only showed the two. Well, on my plate, the lemon wouldn't stamp at all. Nothing on here would stamp. This wouldn't stamp. I think I may have tried to do a video where I was trying to stamp this. Um, so I don't know if this is going to be any better because it does not seem to be deeply etched or any deeper than the first one. But I'm going to give it a try and see. And let's see. The next few items I have here are from the mail, and I have not opened these. This is the Sedona Lace Angled Brush and the... Um, I think tapered crease brush and they sent these eyeshadows I've never ordered from Sedona Lace before so I don't know if this is what they do or if it's because I have an eyeshadow brush or what have you but these colors are very pretty and they don't seem to be in the palette that I got but I'm not sure since I've got this blue pur or purple thing over here but I got this turquoise here this neutral color a pink and a copper color so I now have if you can see that two copper colors I'm sure you can barely see that so I'm sorry I just haven't opened up any of this stuff yet because I don't know what I'm going to do with it just yet. And I have so much stuff opened up already. Um, the next thing that I got, or the next things I should say that I got from Sedona Lace is this concealer palette. I've been... Um, seeing this on YouTube, and I'm starting to learn how to work with a few concealers. Here anymore, I've been using most of them as an eyeshadow base that they match my eyelids. Um, but I'm starting to learn how to work with things. I don't think there's an orange in here. There's no peach color corrector in here, because I don't still know what to do with that one, but I've been watching people use it. Most of whatever I'm trying to cover on my face, to me, it doesn't, like, go away. Or it's almost as if I make it worse. But I'm going to figure out how to do it the correct way. And then the main reason that I placed an order with Sedona Lace was this. I think this is the first edition um, palette. I don't know if it's called, I don't know what it's called. I just know that it had the 120 colors in it. Let me see if I can get this apart for you. And I got this because I saw a video by, I hope I say this right, I think it's Jamaican makeup artist. But I love the greens that were here. And this color right here. And this, I'm sorry about the glare. It's still sealed up, so I left it that way. But I really like this. And I've heard a lot of ladies on YouTube that work with, like, the expensive makeup say they started off with these. And I even got a um, white milk jumbo pencil to use underneath it. And I do like this case here. A friend of mine wanted to see that. That's another reason I left it sealed up. And then I got, and I'm not sure if I got these off the of Sedona. No, these came off of Amazon with my nail plates here. Now, I have been watching a lot of tutorials, not just for the nail stamping that I like to do, but for people that are using acrylic paint. Now, I keep buying brushes. Mind you, I have yet to purchase any acrylic paint. I am so terrified um, that I will go crazy 
and just have every color under the sun in acrylic paint that I don't need because um, the first video I saw that worked with acrylic paint that I really liked besides Love for Nails was made by Adriana where she used um, um, a NYC nail polish called Skin Tight Denim Cream and she mixed a white and a blue acrylic paint. Since then I have seen lavender colors. So I figure if I could limit myself to getting a blue and a white and maybe a lavender, that'd be good. But I'm scared that if I learn how to create the flowers and the lines that I want to create, I'll just go haywire. Because after all, I learned about Conad when I still had maybe like 20 some odd bottles of polish. Now I've got almost 300 bottles. So I don't want to go nuts like that with the acrylic paint. The next thing that I got from Amazon um, are these nail plates, and I will talk more in depth about these. These are the um, Shani Stamping Nail Art plates, but these are not like the ones that I got for 2013, though they're in the same box. This was their set that came out before that, and this set, what I wanted this set for, um, there were many other things, but the main thing was, I think... Let me see if I can find it. The next to the last plate on here, it has a cute little image of two people holding hands in the middle. So let me see. I don't know if I can. Or maybe it's not this plate. Maybe it's not this set. It's the cheeky set. I think these right here, the reason that I wanted these plates was, let me see, that little image right there, the one, it looks like a design, but it actually says sexy. These little faces right here. And I don't know which one it is, but one of these plates has a yin-yang symbol. These little feet right here I thought were cute, like the little hang tin symbol. So I will um, show these in more depth. And they are all over YouTube, being that these are not like brand new plates. The little paws. And there are a few, just a few Hello Kitties on here. But the other set that is in the box just like this has two Hello Kitty plates. So, I will also do a stamping demonstration, but I watch So Guess What 11 a lot, and she just about has a stamping demonstration for every set of plates that there is. So, these are the cheeky ones. I love this green and white box. When I was about six, I had a pair of green and white plaid shorts that I love that looked just like this with a little lime green top. And my poor children, each one of them, of course, I thought looked beautiful in lime green, and I just besieged them with it. <laughs> Even my little boy. Now, this is the plate that I was interested in. It's just so cute. It's got the little couple holding hands there. And I saw this when I watched someone else's video, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure who, because it was a new person I was looking at. This one, too, has a camouflage-type plate there. And most of these that have the animal prints, they're different, you know, from some of the other ones. They're not all the same. But I will come back and show these in more detail. And I'm beginning to like these lines and like these circles here. And that little bear right there. Now, the last thing that I think I have to show you is what I got from Lush. And that came today. One of the things I got is this Blue Skies Bubble Bar. And I don't know why they didn't put this in a bag. They did before. When I first ordered one, they um, put it in a little bag. So I'm going to wrap it up in this. I like those. The first one I had was their one called Comforter. I got the Flying Fox Shower Gel. And this one I know you have to shake up. The Olive Branch Shower Gel. The Smargandine Liquid Bubble Bath, and I hope I'm saying that right because I'm not at all certain. This Green Bubble Rune, I actually love the smell of this. It's like I open this up and I just sniff, sniff, sniff it. It's a wonder I don't get a headache. I just love it. The very first thing I ordered from them was one of those. And I loved the Miranda Soap so much that I ordered two this time. And I ordered from the United Kingdom. This got here unexpectedly today. Usually it was taking a while for things to come from there. I do think it is cheaper um, to order from them. And I got this new one called Willow Soap. They say it's supposed to be like the blue china pattern. So there's some little blue etched in there. And I don't know what they sent me that's sticky. I did 
Yes, they sent me a sample. And they sent me their little paper. And I think that's it. There's nothing else down in there. But whatever this is, it's sticky, but it smells good. Don't have a clue. Oh, okay. I don't know what these are, but I didn't ask for samples. And this time they sent me samples. So here's something. A solid shampoo. I'm sorry, you can't see that. And it's whatever they got in here is leaked on it. And it looks like they sent me some dirty spring wash shower gel. Hopefully I'm not holding that too upside down. And they sent me... It started with a Kiss lip balm. Now I'm going to be interested in that one. I'm going to put that over to the side since it's not leaky. And I'll probably use one of these leaking shower gels. This is the Be Never. I remember hearing about this. It smells honey scented and it smells so good from what I can tell. So I'm going to put the stickies back in here. And that is all that I have. Um, I hope that um, if there's anything I have that you guys have and you have any suggestions for me, just let me know. Um, thank you very much for tuning in and until the next time.